So with the moon we have currently, it's at 99%, so it is pretty full right now. If um, if you haven't charged your crystals since we've been talking about them so awesomely, um, definitely put those out tonight and let what's left of the full moon charge them up for you. Um, the full moon is in Cancer um, for January 4th, 5th, and 6th. It ignites a time of activation generally. So emotions are currently high and they're rising to the surface. And just it's helping us tune in to our innermost feelings and allowing for a more healthy flow of expression and pretty much that's a key point right now and that it's just waiting for our growth to come through and to move on with the changes as we try to find balance. Um, when the moon is in Cancer it's also just it's kind of moving away from Gemini and the Scorpio and different things like that so it's at a, an instinctive need for quietness and peace and that's something that the Cancer really really does for us. Um, it helps with the feeling of belonging and safety and also it motivates us under this influence to really just take time for ourselves and um, remember that nature is really something that will help keep you calm. I know a lot of people get really upset around the full moon sometimes and other people just get really crazy so it can have a, a really different effect on what kind of zodiac you may be or different things like that. So when it's in Cancer it generally favors activities like staying home or personal awareness, home decor, and family family get together so it's like a family bringing together home base sort of moon. And I know we've done a lot of rearranging and house cleansing for not only the new year but maybe the moon itself kind of like pushed us to do that. Yeah. Um, and as our moon is going out of the fool now it's starting to go more into Leo which is speaking to our inner child and it's just asking us to keep a warm heart and to be open-minded and don't get too pride and keep prideful and keep yourself into petty situations. Um, I know as a Leo myself, it kind of is it's hard for us. And when the moon gets in Leo, it's it's even harder. Petty situations seem to to really just be a big deal when they really they really shouldn't be. Um, so as we move into Leo, it's going to um, create more of a creative spark in you as well, and just give you activities involving. Uh, art and music or whatever your divine soul really calls out to you that's a good thing for the Leo time and it's good for for risk taking and recognizing what your your heart truly desires so as we move from the cancer which is keeping us all in our shell you're gonna start to open up during this this moon cycle so I'm really excited for this month's moon cycle in general mm. that's all I really have for the moon update Here's one. thank you all right <laughs> and I'm here with you and I have your uh, uh, solar weather update for the week and I didn't do one last week because we were on break but uh, I'll start off with this this one so um, I like to start off with uh, the planetary alignments and right now what we are seeing on screen is uh, we got Jupiter and Virgo Saturn and Sagittarius Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Neptune right now are all in Aquarius. So a lot of pulling uh, on the Aquarius energy right now. Um, all the Aquarius people might be feeling very crazy with all those planets in them right now. Mm -hmm. um, Uranus is in Pisces. And right now the moon just went from Cancer to Leo. Um, so... Uh, look out for the energy of Leo to be pulling strongly on our emotions. Um, so the next thing is the solar flare update. Um, as you can see, the very first day of 2015, we didn't have much activity uh, at all. You can see here that nothing really goes past uh, goes really past this uh, sea line, which is uh, just a common common or or minor uh, solar flare. Um, so we, we haven't had any really big uh, things going on, except I will just take you back to this article right here. And right now there's apparently uh, one of the biggest sun spots in the, on the sun that we've seen in 25 years. And you can see here um, on this picture, at the very bottom, there's that darker spot on the sun. And what that uh, is called is a sunspot. What it means is that it's a cooler region on the sun's surface. The uh, magnetic part of the sun right there is quite weak, so it allows uh, solar flares to 
um, shoot out even more uh, commonly in those areas. Um, this uh, <laughs> this very slow computer. Um, the article says, uh, "Are we in danger of a damaging solar superstorm?" And what I'll say to that is, uh, we can always be in danger of something like that. Um, the fact that there's this gigantic solar flare or sunspot on the bottom of the sun, um, it won't change that fact. Uh, it could just simply be a gigantic sunspot that goes away quite soon. We haven't had any CMEs come out of it, so there's not really much that has occurred in that spot. And so I'll just take you over to the video to show you a little bit of, of the um, of the webcam that we have. And once my computer is finished loading, I'll get that up for you. And what this is is this, uh, a webcam. It's called the Soho webcam. It's always facing the sun, always capturing the sun. And you can see the the sunspot is in this area right here. Um, I've tried to find that picture on this on this website, but I can't find it. It says the data. Um, it says that there's no data for the picture, so I, I can't look at it myself. Um, but you can see here it's just uh, a bright spot in the lower left corner. Um, other other than that, there hasn't been much activity with the sun. No no CMEs um, for the beginning of the year, so it, it's a it's a peaceful time for us, and uh, and you've probably been feeling a lot of peace and calm within your own mind, and um, expect for that to to be ramped up here shortly. Uh, the sun doesn't stay inactive for very long. So enjoy the peace and quiet. Um, read books and uh, just do things that, that calm you down because uh, we're in a very calm state right now with that.